Hello and welcome to another Pixelmat tutorial and in this tutorial I am going to show you how to make a carbon effect wallpaper so you can use it for your desktop background or whatever you want to use it for but I'll show you how to do that anyway and we'll also go into maybe looking at doing a quite a cool text effect as well another 3D one using some of the new shape styles not the 3D way I showed you last time right so Depending on what size desktop you're using will depend on the, the the ultimate size for your new project. But just to be on the safe side, if you don't know, just use 1920 for the width and 1200 for the height. And then click OK and we go over into Pixelmat. And you'll notice right away that our canvas is quite big. So I'm going to press Command minus on our screen and move my preview pane, my center preview pane around and just resize it and make it a little bit more manageable okay the first thing we're going to need to do is make a new gradient so we go up to our gradients and if you haven't got them up on your screen if you go to view and then to hide gradients or show gradients command plus five command and five so go to a gradient and just select either here on the tools add gradient or select one of your gradients i've just got this black one here I'm going to add a couple of more color stops, double click there and select my color to a color stop which I want white, so I want a white, a black, I want another white in the center there, we've got a black and then we want another white color stop there, so we've got this, um, this sort of view here where we've got white, black, white, black, white in the color stops. Then we're going to make sure our gradient type is on angle and we're going to go and select from our tools the gradient tool. Then just click somewhere in the center of your canvas and you'll get this type of view like this. So I'm just going to rotate it round so the darker stripes, the darker sort of zoom stripes are on the sides and I'm going to click on the keyboard. Now if you get this sort of blue pop up and you're wondering why you keep getting this blue in the new shape styles tools which is here which is view and then it's styles command plus seven so command seven hides them and shows them you will notice this fill here drops down so just drop it down and click none pick some out of team if you're watching it keeps default into that it's a pain in the arse it really is um, so yeah just deselect on the fill click none and then you will go back to your original gradient. Right, now what we're going to do is go to our effects browser and we're going to select these, um, we're going to find the brickwork. So with our background selected in our layers pane, we're going to double click our brickwork and we get this view like this or round about this type of um, view. So in our angle, we're going to drag our angle right down to about So about minus 180 degrees and then with our width we're going to drag our width right the way down to about 9 10 10.9 9.9 pixels and then with this um, this lacy bit here look this grabber we're going to move it along till we find the dark part of our gradient and there's the dark part of our gradient so now you will see that we get this carbon type effect so find a color that you're happy with and then click and get the width and that correct that you're also happy with that your carbon look what you consider a carbon look and then click OK. So then we're left with this sort of view here quite cool in itself I'm sure you'd agree so if you just want a carbon look desktop go to file export and ex either export as a PNG or a JPEG or whatever format you want and then just save it as a desktop so I'm just gonna go and grab my move tool again and then I'm going to select in my layers and duplicate the background layer so I'm gonna double click this and this is gonna be my clipping layer right bear with me so that'll be my clipping layer then I'm gonna select over in my tools my um, text tool and I'm going to type carbon nice and simple not car bomb carbon double click it and we're going to make it 600 in size 600 press center and it's quite big then I'm going to center it up 
like this. And then I'm going to drag it below my clipping layer. Now just for a second, I'm going to turn my background layer off, off so you can see what's happening. So now all we've got is our clipping layer and this carbon underneath, look. Carbon text underneath. So get the text, press command on your keyboard and left click on the placeholder right here. And then go to your clipping layer, right click and create clipping mask. Press command D on your keyboard. So now we've just got a mask of this carbon here. So with the carbon selected, press command and then select the carbon text, right click and merge layers. So now we've got this nice carbon layer. Make sure it's in the center of our screen. Um, and if we turn our background layer on, the carbon layer will disappear because it's the same carbon made from the same thing. We just duplicated it. So now we wanna press command seven on our keyboard and it will show our shape styles tools. So this is new. Shape Styles Tools, and what we're going to do, this is where the, um, this is an excellent feature that they've added to this, and this is where it, it gets, um, it gets really cool, and this is another way to create a really easy 3D effect. So, I'm going to click Shadow, so click the Shadow, and then in this pixels here, I'm going to, you can click it up or down with the arrows, I'm just going to type in 27 and press Enter. So we'll notice with our colour, make sure it's selected black, so we just select this black here and then with the shadow selected you will notice you get this quite cool view anyway and you could mess about with the angle on this look and make it look 3D and quite cool as though it's sticking off the, um, off the page. But I just want it pretty much directly underneath my carbon. So we're then going to go down and select inner shadow. The inner shadow we're just going to leave at 2 pixels. And again, you could mess with the angle on this to get a different effect each time. But I'm just going to leave it sort of at the top somewhere like this to get this really cool 3D effect. Now what you could do with um, with this inner shadow, with the colour selected, this is where you could sort of create different colours. Of course, if I just go back white and I select this shadow at the top, I could select different colours there. Of course I could. But it doesn't look as effective in my opinion. So I would just select black for your shadow and then if you're going to choose a different color use your different color for your inner shadow it's just a bit little bit more um, subtle and it makes it look a bit more professional in my opinion but I'm just going to leave it as white and um, and that is that so that's quite a cool look you could then go file and export that out as a um, PNG is probably the, the, the higher sort of um, looking uh, resolution if you like and just call it carbon and um, if you have any questions please feel free to um, leave them in the comments um, like shares whatever you want to do thanks a lot for watching i hope you enjoyed the tutorial i'll be back again very soon Take care. Bye.